the lawmakers not seeking re-election or they're seeking higher office. Uh, overwhelmingly, it's Democrats, but a lot of Republicans are on that list as well. In addition, Quinnipiac put out a poll about who America wants to control the House. Republican 47, Democrat 44. We're a long way from next year's midterms. How do you see this breaking? We are a long way, but it's really unusual to have a poll have the Republicans ahead at this <laughs> stage. And a lot of our races that we've seen this year, Bill and Dana, you'll like this. Democrats are underperforming what Joe Biden did in November of 2020, and Republicans are overperforming the ticket in 2020. So we're seeing that enthusiasm translate in races in Connecticut, New Hampshire, Texas. Uh, next, uh, on November 2nd, we're going to see Ohio, we're going to see Virginia, we're going to see New Jersey. Republicans have the enthusiasm right now, and that bodes well for us in the midterms. But we got to do the work. We got to get out and vote. We got to do everything we need to to make sure we win.